Hi, it is probably about 10.30, closer to 11. This is one of my cultures. It just sort of sits in the sun, just in a six quart jar. Put a thin layer of gravel on it. I just, I noticed some paramecium a few months ago and so I just kept filling it back up with water, you know? Occasionally I throw a vegetable in there. It's got some weird stuff in there. So anyway, let's take a turkey baster tonight, just for the hell of it. And look at that. That, my friends, are live blood worms. I don't know how midge flies got their way into my balcony in the inner city, but they are They're everywhere in here. And I'm gonna fill this back up. So I'm gonna take some of this out. I'm gonna strain out the midge flies. I'm gonna feed them to my pea puffers. bunch that time. Nice green water too. Daphne will like that. I just have to strain it. And that is how I get to uh, you look real closely sometimes you can see the um, the scuds playing around there at night. That's a lot of fun. see them right now, but I do see some nice growth on the plants. Apparently it's supposed to be really gross. I mean, that's why you wear gloves, people. But, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this inside and strain it out. I need to see if I can't re recognize what midge fly larva eggs look like. Maybe that's what this is right here. Oops. Where is it? Ah. Oops, it fell. I'll put some water back in this. Okay, so 
This is where I took all the water. And then I took a turkey baster after I rinsed it. Uh, and then I put dechlorinated water in here, but then de dechlorinated water. And I scooped up a bunch of stuff, all the midge flies from here with the de dechlorinated water. And then I took scooped up what I could in here and then put it in new dechlorinated water here. So this is the culture that I have. Those are all the midge flies. That's a pretty larvae, blood worms. That's actually a pretty good crop. And so, and it's in, now they're in mostly dechlorinated water. And now the plan, and of course they're not happy, uh, but you know, what's really neat is you can see there's things in here that, you know, we haven't even addressed. Like there's baby scuds in there. There's baby scuds in there too. Um, and, but right now I'm just looking at the midge flies. Oh yeah, and there's detritus worms. Yeah, do you see that little, do you see that ripple? Yeah, that little ripple, that's a detritus worm. Right there, yep. Anyways, there's a bunch of that stuff in there, um, which is easier to see when you put that in a container with most with dechlorinated water. So I'm gonna now take these midge flies, and, or I call them midge fly larvae, but they're blood worms, and I'm gonna put them in my pea puffer tank, and the coolie loaches are probably gonna get to them first. Okay, moment of truth. Now there's a little bit of green stuff in there. Don't worry, the algae eaters will take care of that. But this, this is the meat and potatoes there. Let's get those mid, those live blood worms in there and watch the blood bath. Okay, so it's a little anticlimactic, but I put the midge worms in and the tank is pretty much asleep. Uh, the coolie loaches are, you know, they, they kind of scattered because I put it right in their section and then the hill streams went right after it. And then there was one little baby pea puffer that I saw grab one. Uh, but overall, the pea puffers are sleeping, so it's not quite going to be a bloodbath. But I think the hill, there's like one little midge fly larva left, but I think the hill stream loaches ate most of them and also the little black coolie loaches. So, uh, you know, snooze you lose, pea puffers, snooze you lose. He's so derpy. Look at him. He's so derpy. They're so derpy. Derpa, 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 derpa. There goes Big Mama. Hey, Big Mama. Are you looking for some blood worms?
Run away, run away. <laughs> Why? Why are you bothering me? I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep. Why is that light in my face? Leave me alone. You're so cute. I must. Oh, I just want to squeeze you, you little thing, you.